Happy Friday, V-Team. Thanks for watching Up to Speed. It's been a busy week, so let's jump into the recap. On Monday, we shared all the ways Verizon's helping make the back-to-school transition a little easier with some affordable deals and useful resources for teachers and students. On Tuesday, Enterate con Verizon was back with a soccer-filled episode, including our partnership with Alianza de Futbol. And speaking of which, we'd like to give a shout-out to V-Teamer Sandra Uloa, who's part of our West contract management team. Her daughter took part in one of Alianza's tournaments and won the championship. Congratulations. And on Thursday, the George Talks Tech Temp crew was back with a Seinfeld-inspired episode highlighting our powerful Verizon home internet. Now, let's get into some more news. B team. You may recall that back in March, Verizon announced that through our partnership with Nova Credit, we are the first carrier in the United States to provide new to country customers access to device financing on the network America relies on. Well, earlier this week, we announced that an expansion with that partnership will make it easier for our retail and customer service folks to offer international credit checks to those customers over the phone and in select Verizon stores. This then allows customers the chance to qualify for financing, which expands opportunities beyond just bringing their own device or prepaid phone plans. You know, this partnership really makes a difference. According to a survey commissioned by Nova Credit, buying a phone is one of the top priorities of immigrants when they arrive in the United States. And of course, Verizon's always looking for ways to serve all of our customers. Over now to the Lone Star State, where earlier this week, the Verizon business team hosted nearly 200 customers at their latest 5G innovation session along with Nokia. There, they had a chance to go hands-on with 5G and mobile edge compute. Verizon Business CEO Sam Pav talked with Simon Parkinson of Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages about how they use Verizon 5G. We've worked with Verizon the last five years as Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages. Verizon provide all our wireless, but we've also branched out into other areas of interest. We're doing a lot on cybersecurity. We're looking, we're working with Verizon to continually harden our operational technology landscape. And finally, why I'm here today is we've embarked on a 5G innovation project at our North Point production facility. We found a use case around inventory counting automation, um, which is what we're exploiting 5G for, low latency, high speed. We're, we're dealing with a lot of graphics. We have LiDAR sensors, focusing industry 4.0, shop floor operations. But really what I'm trying to do is get more digitally connected between our back office and our front office, right? So there's benefits. If I know where the inventory is, I know what we're loading onto trucks, that we've loaded the right inventory onto the truck, we can, you know, we can give the customer better visibility. Um, and you know, it's, it's actually limitless, the use cases we could uh, drive. These 5G innovation sessions are awesome because what it does is it makes everything come alive. It's not easy to describe something on a PowerPoint or on a website, on a slide, on a brochure. You come here, we have here 10 demos. We have some experts from different companies. We have a partner here with Nokia. And we're able to show in real life, Verizon has one of the best sales teams on earth. We've seen it time and time again. We know what the product can do. We know what 5G can do. We know what the platform can do. But what is the customer problem they're gonna solve? What's the use case? And then how do you build the ecosystem around them to get that done? How exciting, right? What a great way to come together to find impactful and innovative solutions. But the Texas highlights continue. The prior day, some of the team made a stop in Irving, Texas for an employee town hall where V-teamers were recognized for their business contributions and had a chance to take part in a Q&A session. Something else to note, we recently allocated an additional $97.9 million to local capital spending in Texas to meet growing demands on the network. And after the recent flooding we saw in Dallas, the Verizon Frontline Response Team was standing by to help public safety agencies. And speaking of transformative technologies, Verizon and international esports organization Dignitas recently teamed up for a 5G gaming activation at our 5G LA lab. Check this out. Through the use of 5G edge computing and artificial intelligence, gamers were able to puppet an avatar called DigiLive while they played. 
Then, viewers got to guess which player was behind the avatar. The virtual avatar mirrored the gamer's emotions and modulated their voices all in real time on a mobile device. This awesome demo highlights the evolution of video game live streaming and how 5G, cloud computing, and AI can be combined to create a simple, reliable, Hollywood quality mobile experience that will provide esports teams and individual players with new ways to interact with fans via live avatars. Just another great example of why Verizon is truly the network gamers rely on. All right, the team with football season right around the corner and fantasy football drafts in full swing, having a reliable internet connection can make or break your team. But don't just take it from me. According to a recent Verizon and Morning Consult survey, 90% of fans say having a reliable internet connection during a draft is vital to success in fantasy football. And one in three players say they made an incorrect pick or missed out on a trade due to a poor wireless connection. So don't let that happen to you. Our wireless customers know they can rely on Verizon. To learn more about our 5G technology and to check out the full fantasy football survey, head over to today's story. And speaking of reliability, yesterday we announced the expansion of 5G home internet and 5G business internet to Pittsburgh and Springfield in Boston, Massachusetts. 5G home, which is part of Verizon home internet portfolio with Fios and LTE home internet, starts at just $25 per month with auto pay and select 5G mobile plans. And the best part is you never have to worry about any hidden costs. Now, if you're not a current Verizon customer, you can still get 5G home internet for just $50 per month with auto pay. It's no wonder that Verizon's the network Pittsburgh, Springfield, and Boston rely on. Over now to Michigan, which just this past weekend hosted the Woodward Dream Cruise, a popular classic car event just outside of Detroit. Folks in attendance had a chance to check out our Verizon activation, which showcased just how easy it is to get Verizon home internet and more. Great job, team. Looks like it was a great event. And speaking of great news, our Call for Kindness campaign continued to grow this week with a new mural in Boston painted by local artist Ben Jandanian. Now, in case you didn't know, this national campaign is Verizon's way of helping make the world a kinder place, one act at a time. If you'd like to learn more about this artist and our many other beautiful kindness murals, just head over to the link in today's story. All right, V team, it's almost a wrap for this episode, but what better way to end the show than to share some of your summer vacation photos? The first one is from senior sourcing manager Paul Evans, who recently took a trip to West Cork, Ireland. He even got a chance to climb up to the Fastnet Lighthouse. What a spectacular view. This next one is from Mark Gamble, a consultant on the learning and development team. He and his wife recently took a trip to Israel and snapped a picture in front of the Dead Sea. And our last picture is from Ann Omen from our benefits team. Check out this beautiful picture of her family in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Geez, that sky is breathtaking. Thank you all so much for sharing these amazing pictures. And V-Team, keep on sending us your vacation photos. We love to see them. You can send those to good at verizon.com. And on that note, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, you're up to speed.